Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. This was a Patreon exclusive first thing this morning, and I think it's a very important one. You know, there's a lot of, uh, as, as scary as this might look when you're looking at the uh, thumbnail, the thumbtag, or whatever you want to call it, um, there's a lot of positive things taking place, as well as, obviously, a lot of things that are, oh, it might cause a little apprehension, let's say. Indeed, it's something that I think everybody needs to at least have an eye on. And again, you could join the Patreon family for as little as $10.80 a year when you pay for one year in advance with a 10% discount. So, you know, basically a dollar a month or less. Uh, again, exclusive videos every week, uh, often multiple videos. And here we see worldwide caution. Social media posts on various platforms are calling for demonstrations at U.S. and Israeli facilities on Friday, October 25th, which happens to be today. U.S. citizens should avoid demonstrations and exercise caution. Um, yeah, you know, Portugal, there, there was um, unfortunate events that occurred there involving some people that came over the border in a non-legal manner. Uh, and, you know, have been some attacks. So, again, besides Portugal, obviously, all around uh, the NATO alliance, there are a lot of um, countries absolutely infested with who knows what. Indeed, it's something that doesn't look too good. Well, I know you guys know we understand the bigger picture as much as they try to downplay it. Um, you know, the war, when they triggered this uh, greater war uh, to officially be announced, uh, they will definitely be also triggering an economic situation that is going to require certain navigation skills. Again, tangible items are going to be key when and it, it's always boggled my mind uh people have trust in in numbers numbers in the bank when there's no power they're meaningless yet if you do have something in your hand that is barterable tradable well that's real value and it may be something as simple as a box or bag of rice or a box or bag of beans or it may be uh how about a solar charger uh you know there's so many different things that are going to have value obviously seeds obviously various forms of lead uh for protection uh you know food water ways of purifying water um all sorts of things that are going to have tangible real value i mean the, the ground that you're literally standing on digits come digits go they are of no value when there is no power so again have what you need they've telegraphed this way in advance i think it was 2019 or was it 2018 uh when they literally said you need to be um ready for six months without the grid everything is scripted guys so i would take that seriously i know i know it's definitely something that ah uh one of the things that we need to face and you need to prepare for and they have been telegraphing it so anything that is tangible uh that is useful that you can make do with uh even even your ability to be resourceful becomes a skill we need to all be focused on those things so here you have BOA, Bank of America closed more branches than any other major bank in the first nine months of 2024, 132 branches between January and September. Um, the big banks are obviously um, very, very much a part of everything that we see happening. And, you know, they're part of that, in my opinion. Uh, you will own nothing. It's going to be a renter's world. Yes, this is exactly you know part of what we're watching manifest before our very eyes. Uh, I would trust in in local credit unions more. You know, again, you have to look at each entity uh, in and of itself. Um, ultimately, you know, have what you need on hand as much as possible. But yeah, the last thing I would ever trust in this world is one of the biggest banks. <laughs> Absolutely. They they are the system. 
you know, here you again have more people connecting dots. Um, public private land grab. Are the feds working with big corporations to steal your land? Of course. This this goes without saying. You know, all those executive orders that um, Barry O put into effect a long time ago. And even before him, I mean, this has been going on forever. This goes back to 1871. 1871 is a fascinating year. So many things came about in 1871, including, again, uh, much of the conditions, the foundations for what's what's taking place right now go back that far uh, in more ways than one. Uh, it's just mind-boggling to look at it. But yeah, absolutely. You know, when we talk about what's up with Duke Energy, did they release you know water a day before the storm? Why was the flood so bad? You know, again, when you look to these big companies, when you look again over uh, to California, and let's look at the the electrical power situation over there, who who really controls that? It goes back again to the Red Shields. Who really? gives us the information from the weather channel it's the red shields you know when you when you look to you know the banking situation again the the jp morgans and and you see the same groups time and time again it, it's so beyond obvious what's going on here and you know now you know it's it's just out there in the open about cloud seeding using some of these um methods there's many many methods out there even declassified and out there for public consumption, you know, saying that they were cloud seeding, you know, before even World War II and, and able to steer a hurricane back in the 1940s. It's right out there for anybody that will actually look. But the problem is, you know, too many people are too interested in eating their uh, Twinkies, Doritos and popping their... Um, <laughs> You know, all, all their different sugar-laden and all sorts of other uh, toxifying energy drinks. And, it you know, you, w you might not think an energy drink is going to cloud your ability to think. It might, you know, you might think it's going to sharpen it. But over the long haul, everything that they're feeding us is giving us inflammation, which does cloud our minds. But there is positive signs. Uh, again... There are states that are literally going after the Fed, and that is a great thing. And you have a lot of laws going in effect, and, and they're maybe not going to be able to fluoridate your water anymore. There's so much going on right now being uncovered as to how deep this is. Would they do this? Would you have Vanguard and would you have BlackRock taking the opportunity to buy up houses so that you won't be able to own your own home anymore? You know, wipe away what you had built and then make you a permanent renter that's absolutely part of what they've been trying to sell us right they don't want anyone to own anything or have anything to themselves and they have have stated this for so long and i think we just really need to reiterate and back up and back each other up and help each other through this because the businesses they're working together to take everything away from us you know, when it comes to these things, um, it, it's really sad and unfortunate. And I think it's time we all need to refocus, pull our stuff together and work together. So you have the same company doing uh, FEMA home evaluations, buying out people's mortgages who had their homes destroyed. You have the governor stating, well, many people are coming to the realization it's better just to sell to us. Just sell to us, and and that's it. You know, you don't want this hassle and headache anymore. You know, I think it, it's way overdue that that we take control of the situation again. You you know, people have been so gullible, so uh, zombified, and it's been done on purpose, on purpose. You know, and then they'll say, oh, there's no evidence. There's tons of, you could, you could give them five hours worth of evidence with one breath if you could manage it. And then when you're done giving thousands of pieces of evidence, they'll say there's no evidence. This is, this is who you are talking to. Meanwhile, swarm of UFOs spotted near Indiana Air Force Base, 20-mile-long mothership was detected weeks ago. 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of disclosure going on. Most of the sightings that we're seeing, in my opinion, are our own military. But then again, the big realization is our military works with reptilians and greys. Mm -hmm. There is definitely a mix. And uh, understanding that the there's less and less room. There's less and less real estate. Realizing that these 3Ds and these 4Ds are coming together, which means people are feeling the effects of the lower 4D more and more each day and unless you're really aware of that you could really fall victim to it so it's like yes we got to get more people awoke and awake awoke one of those things yes smell the coffee uh nothing to see here you know i guess it's just e elon starlink you know this is how divided we are you you will have people that again they just want to prove the Bible at any cost, right? You know, so it gives them a paradigm that they're comfortable with, even though they don't realize the ultimate outcome is slavery. Uh, and it's right there in, in, in front of their faces. It, it's slavery. And yet they still want it because they're indoctrinated. And they don't want to believe that there's you know, non-human organic beings out there. Uh, yeah, there always has been. You just have to expand your mind and take a look close. There, There is a lot of, um, obviously, in these days and age, we can have so many things doctored and, you know, be basically uh, nothing but uh, the Wizard of Oz, you know? It, it, when you look to the Wizard of Oz, you pull back the curtain and you realize nowadays, gosh, anything can be fabricated. It, it doesn't even take a, a Project Blue Beam. But yet again, Project Blue Beam, I think, is, is in and of itself, it, it, it's a red herring in a way because now they can automatically, they have it in people's minds that anything they're seeing is just going to be holographic. Well, our entire reality is holographic, but that doesn't mean if a big earthquake comes, you're not going to feel it. Um, yeah, certainly you are. And in fact, um, I would just keep an eye out because there's some interesting activity. As you see here over in Death Valley, there's a swarm, including a 4.7. Um, there was a 4.6 over very close to Ridgecrest. Is it still showing this? That's a 2.1. I think we uh, probably just went past the 24-hour period. So let's just look for 2.5 more. Or did they wipe it out? Oh, they erased it. Naughty, naughty people. Ah, they erased it. Yeah, there was a 4.6, um, you know, basically around Ridgecrest 2 that they wiped clean. Uh, so mm, that... that uh, even more reason, even more reason now um, to go ahead and, and be a little bit extra cautious. We were talking about Mount Adams. You know, we're so close. We have a comet, quote unquote, running um, that I was amazed to see one of our family members, Joe, um, Dr. Joe from PA, had gotten some pretty good photos of it. Um, a lot of people have been seeing this quote-unquote comet, which again is, is really a ship. Um, when the comet shall run is a famous Nostradamus quatrain, which is tied into WW3. You know, when you look closely at our world, uh, you will see there's a lot hidden in plain sight. And this is a passenger plane, and somebody's filming what looks to be a pyramid down there in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, there is a pyramid um, not far from New Orleans. And there's pyramids in China that, that they don't let people see out in the open. Absolutely. You know, pyramids were originally put in place to help the planet heal after the destruction of Tiamat and the recreation of Earth from the leftover uh, largest portion of Tiamat. Earth is still in the healing uh, period, and, and Earth is not perfectly round. It's more of a pear shape, um, but it's, it's not flat. It's just much bigger than what they tell us because we're not allowed to go on most of the planet. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. It's uh, just a lot of things that since the mainstream, 
they have been in control, mm. so they tell us the things, and they tell us the things that you know they need us to hear, so we can never ever forget that. But understanding that Earth is still in the process of healing, that means our bodies, our minds, are also healing. So we can never really forget that, and and know that recently, most recently, so many things have come up to be purged, and a lot of people might not understand it, but you just really have to stay grounded and stay centered and stay on your path. If you hold your phone to your head, you are literally frying your brains. This is this is really bad. I mean, some people don't believe it. They think because they can't see something, it's not there. Unfortunately, uh, they go by that concept, and then later on, really bad things happen to them. I mean, I did. I had two tumors um, on the side of my head, and it did cause my face for four years, I think, to go paralyzed. And the surgeries were so extremely painful. And, and some of you know that that's Mike and I, that's our background. That's how we we got together was uh, trying to help me avoid surgery to get yet another tumor removed. Um, so stated clearly, uh, you had surgery, surgery before we were yeah. together and then two surgeries. Um, she literally had a piece of her skull removed. Uh, there is a piece of skull missing behind her uh, right ear there. And when she discovered uh, another tumor, she didn't want to go back, and, and she had been following uh, my channel at that point in time before it became our channel, um, and she reached out to me. Mm -hmm. I reached out, and I said, hey, I don't want to go back in for surgery. Let's see what we can do, and we managed to heal that, and it was really quite miraculous, and I was really taken back when I had gone to the specialist, and the specialist said, no there's there's nothing there we don't need to do surgery so <laughs> i mean what a relief and then it happened again after mike and i had physically come together the same thing happened and once again we were able to dissolve that so energy work i mean it's so incredibly amazing unless you really experience it firsthand it's still hard for people to believe because they think if they can't see something it's not there but, you know, we all have organs in our bodies. We can't see them, yet they are there and they are functioning. I think we have to start working in that understanding a little bit more. It's it's time. People are ready. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Cindy went in because she was feeling pressure and stuff, and we went into the local um, medical office in the small town that we were living in, and you know they they said there's something there and you know that that was something she didn't want to hear um this is when we were together after we had already dissolved one of them via distance work uh with literally me in in north carolina and her in nevada then when i was living with her in nevada um, you know, we went in and they saw it and I asked if I could see it. And so the doctor let me look through with their little, uh, scope and I could see it. And, you know, it appeared to be like a white, um, growth or whatever, uh, inside the canal there. And so, you know, it was on a Monday and they made a appointment for a specialist. I forget if it was Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and I think it was Wednesday, it was literally like two days later. And so we went into Vegas and had an appointment with a specialist. But in the meantime, we ran energy very intently and it did help having a, a clear picture, you know, being able to see it myself. And so when we went in, uh, into Vegas for the specialist, the, Ve uh, <laughs> the Vegas specialist looked and said, uh, there's nothing here. <laughs> They said there's nothing there, and that was just like singing singing to me. It was angels singing to me because I did not want to go through that surgery again. And, and I can say that energy work is only limited by the person receiving it. So it, it's limited by you. I mean, we do all the things, uh, and, you know, so often it turns out really well, but if the person is not doing all the things, then it might be limited. That's the only problem. So you really cannot have those limiting beliefs. And you know, the my favorite, favorite way to do energy work is actually on animals because they don't have limited belief systems. They just accept the energy and they accept the love and they accept the healing. And, and that's where if more people were that way, 
we would have even more success. I mean, it was pretty successful to have these tumors dissolved and I don't have to go into surgery. That was just, oh my God, that was amazing. But there can be more people like me. Yeah, and we don't really tout ourselves, um, but we, we certainly could. Um, we don't want to get overwhelmed. You know, this is why we, we don't really advertise too much because it does take a lot of, um, it can be very, very taxing uh, on you. So, you know, this is why we keep ourselves at a, a certain limited amount. So, you know, because we've actually both gotten very, very ill from uh, a combination of too much energy work and then, you know, being attacked by the dark side. Uh, and we've literally almost lost uh, Cindy, you know, because of that. In New Mexico, we got so busy and, and I didn't have the heart to um, say no to people that we literally worked like 14 days straight every single day, energy work, you know, five, six, seven people. And, you know, that was way too much because when you look at medical Qigong, typically you should spend at least one hour on yourself for every hour that you're working with somebody energetically. Um, and so, you know, at that point in time, we didn't. <laughs> and yeah, it, it did take a toll. But, um, you know, we've worked on people all over the world, every single continent, but um, Antarctica. Uh, I remember one gentleman uh, that was extremely ill, young man in Africa, and a friend um, uh, that knew both me and him um, it literally paid for the session, and, you know, he was deathly ill, and, you know, again, the distance work worked. As soon as I started to, to work on him, he was able to go and fall asleep and uh, you know he was very feverish high fever uh, and they were worried about him not making it but he was able to go into a deep sleep and then when he woke up uh, he was he was fine in the morning and he said I, I don't know how that happened all I know it was an act of God and so he was he was thankful and uh, you know again that's that's just one amongst thousands of people that we've we've worked on energy wise you know, when you look at all these stats that uh, have come out, hand sanitizer increases the absorption of BPA, which we know is an issue. And, and so, so much BPA exposure, we never drink from plastic bottles. Never, ever, ever drink from plastic bottles. But again, hand sanitizer. Every, how many times a day were people taking the hand sanitizer absorbing more BPA? A hundred times, you know, it, it, it increases the absorption. And also, those, those hand sanitizers wipe out your microbiome. One piece in the greater puzzle, there is no way you can look at what's going on and say this is just a series of coincidences. No way. That's impossible. And a sauna is the ultimate power move for longevity which we do have a portable sauna, which we should really plug in. We do have one, um, I don't know, 100 bucks about that, yeah. something, something like that. It, it's a great detoxifier, clinically proven to excrete plastic metabolites like BPA. Uh, you know, this is, again, detoxing. This is what the world needs. We need to detox in more ways than one. We need to detox in more ways than one on a, on a regular basis. And yeah, I prefer cream in my coffee, but today it's black. And, um, you know, just water because at least getting in 16 hours or so of, um, you know, a fast, it, it does help the body. So, you, you know, you certainly want to have periods where you are giving your your body time to purge itself because you know again cancer is an overload of toxins that's really what it is parasitic in nature and it is an overload oh i know and so we really have to be careful when we are purging toxins not to go too far the other way or you have to make sure that you're putting in all the right things but not too many things because you know yes the body needs copper but too much copper can really really cause damage so can too much iron i know one people one thing that people run into a problem is uh because of parasites because i mean this whole 
issue that we have as humans is like 90% parasites. So if you are low in iron, that could mean you have a parasite problem. So if you take iron on top of that, the only thing that you're doing is you're feeding the parasites. So we have to be very careful when we detox, there's a certain way to do it and there's certain checks and balances you should have in place. Always best to find someone who has been through it and has done the things so that you can safely detox. And trace minerals, you could add those to water. Always add trace minerals to water. What what I have learned, I really like uh, pink Himalayan salt. I like adding pink Himalayan salt. That seems to be the best trace minerals that I can find. And I know it's it's not going to be contaminated. It's not coming from a bottle. I know it comes from, you know, we buy in bulk. I know where it comes from. So you can do that too. I just throw just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt in my water, you know, whenever I make a glass of water, just a little bit. Yeah, this is uh, showing how easy it is to deceive. And yet the deception is in perhaps every hotel room across the entire globe. Um, That's where your deception is. It's it's so obvious, again, getting us think to think that we're alone and that everything is going to be just contrived, you know, and and fake. The alien invasion happened thousands of years ago. You're under control of these demonic forces. Yes, they are demonic. They're also non-terrestrial. Uh, there are some that have been here for way longer than Homo sapiens has existed. Here you, you have an ET signal from Proxima Centauri confirmed by ESA. Again, I don't trust anything coming from NASA, but I don't base you know my belief system on NASA. But yet when you look to NASA and NOAA, and you look at people that say everything is just a big cyclic um, you know, occurrence of a natural origin, where are you getting those numbers from? They're coming from NASA, NOAA, and the other quote-unquote space agencies. You know, when you're looking to, well, who, who, show, who is really giving you the data from the ice cores that you're looking at samples of? It's, again, coming from the system. It's, it's the science that is controlling the system of illusion. So, you know, I think we give the system a big out when we say, well, you know, it's just because they're doing everything just because there's going to be a pole shift and that pole shift's going to destroy everything. And that's why they're doing this ahead of time. Uh, no, that's just another method of control for the control system. And when you're talking about the big solar flash that's coming, I don't believe you have anything to fear because, you know, again, there is some truth in in the Bible. Um, but again, there's there's so much distortion as well. And, and the biggest distortion is the whole concept of original sin and blood sacrifice and of also taking the power out of your hands because you're waiting for somebody else to come and do it you're gonna you're waiting for somebody to come and save you well that's what they want you to do just sit wait don't worry somebody's gonna come and save you and then they never come and then you haven't saved yourself that's the whole purpose behind it is taking initiative away from humans and and the realization wait a minute we're we're the ones that gotta create our reality but yeah absolutely you know there are signals uh, people have been talking about this, and you know, it's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. He's really a, a goofy, funny guy. Uh, nice, nice energy. Uh, alien signal from Alpha Centauri. Well, I mean, most of us, I bet you, have seen an alien ship and didn't even realize it. This is, you know, part of the big reveal. Um, we've never been alone. It's all right in front of our very face. And he's talking here, Jason Wilde's talking about the the bird beings, tridactyl beings in Peru. Uh, This is an investigation led by a team of scientists, provides a detailed biometric and anatomical analysis of a humanoid specimen found near Nazca, Peru. I love Peru. Want to go exploring down there. This entity exhibits several unusual features that make it difficult to categorize within any known human lineage. The data raises two fascinating possibilities, a potential off-world origin or the remnants of a long-forgotten species that once coexisted with early human civilizations. 
Specimen is not simply a weird mummy, it's a profound mystery locked in bone and desiccated tissue. And, you know, it, 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 when you look at it, three fingers, uh, again, we see these beings and they're depicted all over the world. There's many different beings that are depicted uh, and our ancestors were trying to tell us, you know, again, we're not alone. In fact, when you look to the Hindu, uh, again, scriptures, it, it just comes right out and talks about hundreds of thousands of different humanoid species in our galaxy and the interaction thereof. It talks about the Asuras, the demonic beings that come down from the sky and take over villages, towns, and cities. Take over set themselves up as the rulers, demand being worshipped as gods. It's right there in the Hindu books. The, these are beings. These are real beings. Absolutely. Yet there, there are demonic entities and there are also angelic entities. But there is also extraterrestrials of, of both reptoid and avian uh, lineages. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's, there's just so many. And it really is extremely advantageous for the dark matrix to keep all of this a secret keep it you know on on the low down so that humans believe that they are alone so they believe that oh i must need a savior i am flawed there is something wrong with me therefore oh please save me and it's not like that. It's not like that. We are here to save ourselves. We are here to bring ourselves the growth. We are here to to grow and to evolve. And we're doing it ourselves, but we don't have to do it alone. But recognize there's light and there's dark. And the dark has a purpose and the light has a purpose. We are moving into more light than we are dark. And when that happens, the darkness uh, can be a little more mm, difficult to deal with because they're fighting back. The darkness, you know, it, it doesn't want to leave. It wants its own space. So we have to recognize as long as you know it's there, you're in good shape and know when it's working against you, you'll be good. Absolutely. You know, it, and, you know, the, the, <laughs> that old serpent, you know, that, uh, again, deceives the entire world. When you look to Isaiah 30, 33, ooh, 30, 33, 3, 3, 3, uh-oh. And it, it talks about uh, Yahweh's breath will be like a flood, a burning sulfur setting it on fire, talking about setting on fire these burning logs Yahweh's breath if you if you are worshiping Yahweh Jehovah you are worshiping a, a reptilian draconian energy a being a limited being you know that is literally as the Gnostics viewed as the Demiurge uh, a very very dark diabolical genocidal evil being and yet yeah, whether it's in the guise of Allah or Yahweh Jehovah, we are talking about the draconian reptilian system. Isn't it curious? They're right there. It says, Yahweh's breath will be like the flood of burning sulfur. Isn't that what they say about dragons? You know, dragon's breath is like burning sulfur. Sulfur is, is the smell of hell and hellfire setting it on fire. We did this. Um, not too long ago, uh, as you see, Yahweh is a dragon. Second Samuel, Samuel 22, 8 to 9. The earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. You got a clear description of a dragon there. And, you know... Who really is Yahweh? Yahweh is is damn evil. You know, there's and and the Gnostics knew, and the Gnostics were persecuted to extinction. Again, I'll give you the links if you miss this one. Uh, and then here we're talking about the jinn. When you see uh, the burning bush, what do you see? You know, again, you see an entity that is a jinn, and and it's known that jinn are dark and evil there's another reptilian looking entity another reptilian looking entity moses 
it doesn't want me focusing on Moses and the burning bush because it keeps switching. <laughs> but yeah, you know, the burning bush, again, it is the dark control system. And yet 60% of the world are better still are under the sway of the reptilian draconian system look to the vatican itself it's a serpent it's all right there and that demonic statue behind the pope of what looks like you know yeshua coming from hell it, it it's in a, it's an atrocity it truly truly is it, it shows you everything is inversed everything is inversed and most people are giving power to the very ones that are doing all this. The ones that are unleashing plagues upon humanity. The ones that are causing us to fight ourselves. It's all right there in Genesis. They can't have us united. They got to keep us fighting each other. They create these dogmatic religions to fuel that fire. And there is evidence all around the world of these beings and of the age in which we knew that there is non-human beings you know here on the planet with us they went into the shadows and the darkness they get us to worship them they get us to give them power every single president swears in putting his hand on their book uh, which you know it could be the Quran too or it could be the Torah could be the Talmud the Talmud's interpretation of the Torah Torah is the five books of Moses and yet people are in absolute complete denial as they keep worshiping Satan uh, you know it's 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 every everything is backwards the way people have been taught it's completely inside out backwards upside down and once you can see it that way then you can see the truth of the matter you can see really what is going on in our system when you can see clearly then you know really how to function so that you are feeding your own soul and not feeding the system i think that's what it's all about it's about us finding a way to help each other out despite our differences it's about finding a way to help people wake up despite the fact that they might be working constantly and they don't have time to watch all the things and learn the, the true history of earth and go within and take the time to meditate, take the time to get quiet. I, all of these things are necessary to wake up. They're absolutely necessary. So we need to help each other with that. We need to guide each other, make it a priority, make it a priority to find that spiritual practice because that's what's going to get us out of this mess. Look at those dogs way up there. My God, look at that gives you a perspective on how big the Great Pyramid is. That's a lot of fun. That looks like a lot of fun. Absolutely. And then we got this guy. Hey, it's Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. This is so cute. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your support. Come join us over on Patreon. Again, uh, the exclusive that just went over there is, is I, th I feel, a very important one. Highly infectious Chinese migrant came in contact with hundreds in Louisiana is also uh, suing the feds and doing some studies that uh, are going to expose a lot of things. Go Louisiana. Go Louisiana, source bless and namaste. Namaste.